my fire. Hello and welcome to the channel. And in today's video, it's going to be a quick one since it's just a, a small repaint of the newly released, what are we calling this? The um, Iron Man Wave, Retro Iron Man Wave, She-Hulk. Um, the one that came with the, um, let me see, I've got the box here, but I'm just trying to see. Uh, anyway, oh uh, yeah, this one that comes with the uh, with the Iron Man in the in the box and everything that comes with like the broken gun and the extra gripping hands. Yeah, I found it at um, a friend of mine found it for me at um, GameStop. GameStop has been crushing it lately with a lot of the um, the Marvel Legends figures and other exclusives. Which I'll talk about in another video coming up. But yeah, but this video is mostly about uh, this. Uh, you know, it's a custom, but I mean, I did. I only. I all I did was just repaint some of the parts of the She-Hulk. Uh, so I'll post an image here on the. Uh, I'll post an image here on the. Um, on the side for how she normally looks, but um. What I was basing uh, the, uh, this custom repaint is on the uh, artwork from the um, from the old um, Marvel Universe trading cards from what's this? I got it right here, 1992, which is from when I started collecting back in the day. Uh, so the 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 uh the trading card was drawn by uh let's focus here there we go um mark silvestri probably one of the last things he did for marvel before he left uh to be one of the founders of image <laughs> but yeah basically this is what i was attempting to do with uh with this custom uh, the camera is focusing on the card so i'll post an image of the uh, card here on the side to keep um the comparison but yeah uh the uh the thing about this she hulk is that she came uh with white wristbands as well as uh white um high bands on the um, on the legs and everything so that's what i uh repainted the um the um those things that look like uh, roll down socks, those came from the uh, Marvel Legends Siren, which I used to create my custom uh, Miss Marvel uh, slash Warbird. Uh, so those are things that Siren has. I'll, again, I'll post an image here on the side or on this side uh, that she has on her costume. Uh, I don't know what they're supposed to be, uh, but. Um, I had these, uh, and I I knew that they could work as like roll down socks, so that's what I've got uh, on the figure. And then um, one of the things that I wanted to do um, was um, f I was trying to find during my trips uh, at, at this uh, local. Uh, flea market that we have which is on, on Sundays that is all about uh, toys and action figures and all of that so I was trying to find the um, the She-Hulk from the um, from the TV series from the Disney Plus series I'm hoping to try and find it cheap because I wanted to use the uh, the sneakers that she has which are kind of like uh, not high tops or, or they're like mid uh, mid shoes like mid they're not low tops they're like mids which cover up the joints on the ankles and everything. You can't really see them. I'll, again, I'll post an image here on the side. Um, but I wanted to see if I can find her so that I could swap out the shoe, the feet from this one, which is or the standard white feet. Um, nondescript, you know, it, you know, it looks like she's wearing like ballet shoes and whatnot. Uh, but um, the, um, so I wanted to see if I could fit the sneakers from the, Disney Plus uh, She-Hulk on this one, but, but I saw a comparison um, of this She-Hulk with that one, 
and this one uh, still towers over the Disney Plus She-Hulk by about uh, I think mm. the She-Hulk from the Disney Plus series goes up around to her uh, the top of her head is about the mouth or the nose of this one so the scaling will might be different so the feet on her might be too small for this one although for female characters drawing uh, when, when we draw them you know typically you no know, we draw them with smaller feet right uh so um there goes my dog give me one second so just as i start recording she starts up again hopefully it's not too distracting uh <laughs> give me one let's try that again so as i was saying the feet on the disney plus she hulk maybe a little too small for this one but typically superhero female superheroes tend to be drawn with smaller feet so i don't know if it would be that much of a difference we'll see if i ever find her and i'll do the test and let's see how it looks uh but yeah because, because the reason i wanted the uh, that one in particular because like i was saying it covers up the the angle joints because on this one let me just get a little closer look at this one because on this one you can see right here on the on the uh the joint uh, the uh on the hinge you can see how much of the paint it rubs off i mean literally all the paint that i applied uh rubbed off on front and the back so uh i could probably just pa paint some what is this like this purple like a purple stripe on the back of the shoe almost like a design and again on the front going all the way just to keep it in line right um but um the um the disney plus she hulk covers all of this up so the tongue of the shoe would cover that up and the heel of the shoe would cover that hinge up so that's what i was trying to look for her but now that i got her off of the stand um i mean you can pose her on by herself but I, but that particular pose that i had her on uh, she just won't stand so trying to mimic the one from the uh the trading card but yeah as you can see uh so the greens on the on the camera let's see how it i'm looking at it through the camera uh, the green from the plastic uh, and the green from the from the paint that I applied I mean there's definitely a shade it's this is definitely a shade darker uh, and it's still visible also from in the naked eye but although not so much as on much as, I, as on the camera through the camera but yeah there's no particular color that I used I had to do a custom blend a lot of um, mostly it's like a it was like a mint green with a lot of white so apparently i still need to use some more white to lighten the shade to try and get it to uh, you know slightly match the green even though the knee the, the the green on the knee doesn't match the plastic the color of the plastic so that's another issue i then uh for the uh for her hips you can see that i repainted over this is all this was all purple so i repainted over that and gave her a little more of a bikini type bottom again trying to match the look of the trading card although on the trading card you can see the cut goes way higher up to her waist the belt on this one is be below the waist uh, the belt should be higher up around here so if i wanted to equal the look uh you know have it look just like the trading card i will need to repaint over this white band and draw my own white band on top and then continue drawing the uh green so i will need to continue drawing uh the skin tone up up uh over the hip and into this area right so we'll see about that in the future and then her top i repainted on this area right here again to have it look similar to the trading card now one thing that maybe in the future i may try is to re-sculpt her her uh 
her top who just to have them look a little more closer to this we'll see i mean these are just fine but um i think um to try and go all in on on this look um we'll see if i can find a uh another one down the line in the future for cheap um maybe i'll try a custom where i redo the the whole top and and that's it just uh repainted these areas here on the um below uh her armpits and then up here by her hips and down here on the um on her lower legs uh, again just if you want to try something like this um i would all i can do and recommend is if you're going to repaint it try and do the best thing uh the best color matching job you can do uh, i mean there is no set color that you can buy or maybe there is i don't know but obviously i don't have every paint available to me so i wasn't gonna go and buy each green color right so right so it's easier to just uh try and if you have a bunch of greens and have a bunch of um whites try and try and you know different percentages of colors you know reducing and adding and all of that and until you try and get uh, a color that matches i stopped here at, at this um color because i didn't want to cake on too much of the uh of the paint um all right i right now i think i applied like uh, i don't know three coats as i as i attempted different uh shades of green until i got the one that i was satisfied with so i think uh i applied like three to four coats so i don't want to cake on anymore the the only solution uh to try and re is would be to remove the paint that i applied and start over again right um one of the things that i also thought about was trying to cover up all of those those gaps because of the forearm on the forearm and on the lower legs because this is a um a movable piece so i thought about maybe filling that area and then repainting over it because again this is supposed to be like a band and over here she had like high socks um but um again if i find a second figure uh for cheap you know i may try and do the um that custom later on so yeah that's about it i uh, just wanted to show this quick custom um it's been finished for for weeks now i just haven't gotten around to uh to recording the video uh got a bunch of other stuff that i need to record so probably ne probably uh need to get to it all right so thank you for watching like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in the next one